hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'll be showing you how to make this robe captain dress and here's the inspiration right here my advice to you if you want to make this is to use a soft droopy fabric like silk chiffon satin or even maybe lightweight crepe you can also use ankara like me if you want but that made it a bit bulky and it didn't give as much fluid drips you know how like fluid the drips are supposed to be so it didn't give as much fluid um, drips as i would have liked anyway before we head into the tutorial proper please tap the subscribe button below your screen and also tap the like button thank you So guys for today's tutorial on how to make um, a draped robe caftan the first thing i'm going to be doing is to start with cutting the back of my robe and then i'm going to be using this paper to explain everything i'm going to be doing today so this paper represents my fabric so the first thing i'm going to do to cut the back is to first fold my fabric like fold the paper i'm going to fold the paper once like this so once you fold it so I'm going to do some calculations. Get the biggest measurement on your body. And the biggest measurement on my body is my hip measurement. So that's 38 inches. So I'm going to add 20 inches to that. So, and then I'll divide it by two. So 38 plus 20 is going to give me 58 inches. And then I'm going to divide that by two. And so that 29 inches, I'm going to measure it from here, here, from here, here, and from here, here. So I'll look at that and so this is it right here for me so this is the width of my um, robe so now I'm going to uh, measure how long I want the captain robe drape captain robe to be so you start from the top here and measure how long you want it to be so for me I'm using about um, I'm measuring about um, 38 inches length so the length for me the length I'm using is 38 inches so I'm going to measure it from here down from here down so yeah this is it right here so now i'm going to cut this out this way so yeah this is it right here so um now i'm going to draw in i'm going to measure in my neckline so at the middle part here i'm going to measure three inches this way three inches this way and three inches this way so yeah this is my neckline so now i'm going to cut it out so yeah that's all for the back this is what my back the back of my robe is going to look like so now let's move straight to cutting the front of our draped robe caftan now to cut the front um, get your fabric you know i mentioned earlier that this paper represents our fabric so you get your fabric this is my fabric here it's opened up i'm not folding it or anything so i'm going to place my this is my back piece the one we could just cut now so i'm going to place my back piece this way i'll place it at this point here just so that this aligns like the side aligns with my new fabric right here so just going to thin this down now the next thing i'm going to do is to extend the length of my front uh, my back piece rather so you know this is the full length of our back piece here so i'm not going to use this full length for my front piece so i'm going to extend it so ex the extension can be how much you want you can extend it by six inches seven eight nine ten or even more it depends all depends on you so i'm going to extend this so i'm going to extend this by 10 inches so pretty much this is it here so at this point here also i'm going to extend it again remember this is uh this is the midpoint of our back so i'm going to extend this again forward so you can extend it from between five to seven five six seven or eight inches it all also depends on you so from here i'm going to extend it again by like maybe seven inches or eight inches and now i'm also going to extend it at the top here. you know i already extended from here here so i'm going to extend this and also this just so that everything aligns with what i have here so now i'm going to draw a straight line connecting them and now the next thing i'm going to do is to draw a cut line from here you know this is the the full length of our back piece right here so i'm going to draw a curved line from here all the way to this point here so yeah this is it pretty much this is the curve of my front piece so now before i cut all of this out because i'm going to cut everything here out before i cut it out i'm going to uh, mark this point i'm going to just mark the midpoint 
of you know this is the midpoint of my back so i'm going to mark it also on my front so i'm just going to locate it here and also where my neckline stops right here i'm going to mark it you can also notch it so after marking it just notch the two points so this is the middle and this is where our neckline stops so now once you are done doing that so just cut everything out and that's what i'm going to do now and now it's cut out so now i'm just going to just um label just so that when i'm sewing i don't get um, i don't misplace them and get confused so this is my new center front this is our center back that we marked earlier so you can just use your um chalk or pencil to just mark all these locations and this is where my neckline that is the neckline of my back this is where it's stopped so yeah i'm going to take these pins out now and then i'm going to remove the back piece so i'm going to use this now this is one side of my front so i'm going to use this exact one i'm going to turn it um over this way and use that to cut the other side of my front so let's say this is your fabric you place this the other side this way just so that you can cut the other side of your front so and now we have it already cut that out so we have the two pieces here so i'm just going to relabel it this is our center front i already notched this part here so this is my center back and this is my neckline right here so pretty much that's that so this is our front piece cut out and this is our back piece right here this is our back piece right here so now we can now move straight to sewing all of this together so now let's sew guys um to sew this we are going to start by um you can come to the back right here and then you fold the hem you fold the hem of your dress right here so once you fold it you can also take your um dress also to your um overlock machine and then you overlock the side overlock this part also and then you overlock the shoulders and this part also so also overlock your neckline right here so once you are done you keep it aside then you come to the front also and then you come to the hem this is the hem of our front then you fold it you begin to fold it fold it fold it and stitch the hem down then you do the same also for this other side so then you carry this to your overlock machine too and then you overlock this part this is the side of our dress this is the shoulder you overlock um all of these parts also and then you overlock the upper parts here also and also overlock this part here but this part here this middle part here you fold it in and then you sew by um you sew by half inch and then you fold this in also and then you sew by half inch so i hope you got the drift of what i'm explaining so once you are done doing all of that folding and overlocking them then you pick the back piece and then you place it right sides together with the front let's keep this aside so let's start with this so let's say you keep you put this right sides together with the front piece you make sure it's aligned at the side right here so this is the side part of your front and this is the side seam part of your back and then i'm going to align both together this way so once you align both together then you sew the neckline and it says neckline you sew the shoulders rather you sew the shoulders here so remember that we notched where our neckline stops like our back neckline where it stops we notched it on our front right here so on that notch this is the notch here so you can see it aligns with this so that is where you stitch this part too and then you stop so i hope you got the drift let me just use my diary to mark it so you sew by half inch right here and then you stop at the edge of your neckline this is it so this is my notch part here so yeah once you are done doing that you do the same also for this other side too. so i'm going to pin the boat down i'm going to pin it to the back now and then i'll show you what that looks like so yeah this is it pinned down at the shoulder so then uh before you turn it over we have to sew the side also so you come to the side of your let's start with this part so you come to the side seam right here and then you measure 10 inches down for the sleeve opening so you measure from the top here to um wherever 10 inches gets to and then you mark that down so from there you begin to sew one inch one inch one inch all the way till you get to the hem of your shoulder i said hem of your shoulder hem of your dress rather all the way till you get to the hem of your dress 
right here so you sew one inch down so by the time you are done sewing you, you are going to have a an opening right here so the remaining opening you can just um, fold it in let me just pin this here so the opening here you can just fold it in i won't be able to do that because i have pins um it's a paper rather and it's going to tear so you fold it in just fold this one in and then you fold this one also in just to finish the rough edges of the sleeve opening so i hope you got the drift then you do the same also for this part also you measure 10 inches down and then you sew you sew down you sew your side seam all the way down so once you are done you turn it inside out so this is it turned inside out so this is my shoulder you can see it's turned inside out i wasn't able to pin this on the wrong side because if i pin it on the wrong side once i try to turn it back to the right side the paper is going to tear so i just have to pin it here so yeah this is the other side here so pretty much you can see this is still the back right here now the next thing we are going to do now is to pleat or gather it you can gather this part so you can either pleat or gather it so if you are pleating you begin to pleat this way so you pleat you get to the top so this is it here this is my pleat you can see this so you pleat you get to the top and then you do the same also for this one so you pleat this also just the way i pleated this one you pleat it also till you get to the top so you can either pleat or you gather so yeah this is it pleated this is this also pleated my paper was already tearing here so i just had to take it down so now you pick up your pleats and then you carry this one and you bring it to the you bring it to this part here to your neckline here to the edge of your neckline here you bring it here then you bring this one and carry it also to the edge of your other neckline right here even if you can't see it but i hope you understand what i'm talking about so you carry this you carry this and you bring it here so you can just pin that down at the edge of your neckline there then once you are done then you carry this also all of this pleats you carry it and bring it to the edge also here to the edge of the neckline here so i hope you got the drift of what i'm explaining so this is what i'm talking about at the back so this is the back of my dress so this is already at the edge of this neckline here and this is at the edge of this neckline here that is this piece is here this piece is here then you bring both of them and turn them right sides together like this see what i'm doing so you turn it right sides together like this and then you sew by half inch down so you sew this part by half inch all the way down so look at it i have it pinned down right here so you bring it once you sew it down you bring it to the middle of your back neckline here you bring this part to the middle of your back neckline here and then you can just pin it down and then you begin to sew you use that to sew to turn the neckline to turn your back neckline so you sew it this way and then you sew it this way so i don't know if you understand what i just explained so you sew it this way till you, you cover up your back neckline here you cover up your back neckline at the edge and then you sew this way also till you cover up your back neckline at the other edge so by the time you are done sewing your dress should look like this. so i tried to cut this little piece of fabric just to explain the uh, the process i was the sewing process i was showing you on the paper so you got it up to where i said okay you bring this pleats the pleats here you bring it to the edge of this neckline here and that is it is right here and then this one will be brought to the edge of this neckline here so both of the pleats are now at the edge of the neckline this pleats here this pleats here is already at the edge of this neckline and this pleats here is also at the edge of this neckline like i explained so this coming here this coming here so now i said okay now that these two pleats i've turned it to the back this is still my back neckline here so the two pleats they have already crossed over each other then you bring them together at the back here and fold it not fold it place them together right sides together and then you sew by you sew by half inch so at this spot here you sew by half inch so this is it sewn. so you join the two together now you are going to place it this 
part here that you join together you place it at the middle of your back neckline here you place it at the middle of your back neckline here here and then you begin to sew down you use this part here this part here to sew your neckline so use it to turn the back neckline inside so you use it to stitch you stitch down all the way till you get to the edge of your neckline here and then you stitch down that is from the your from your center back from your center back neckline you stitch down all the way till you get to this part here so you get to the edge of your neckline right here so i hope you got the drift of what i just explained because i don't think i can explain any further than this this is the only way to also explain it so by the time you are done sewing the neckline this comes up this comes up right here like and it forms like a kind of collar around there so it forms the kind of collar around here you can see and then the front is twisted just the way we want it so i hope you got the drift of what i just explained and our neckline is still right here so when you are wearing it you put your head through this place and this is still our sleeve open right here our sleeve open here so this is my own adult sized um, version here this is the collar this is the wrist collar this is the neckline that i was saying um you need to stitch you can see so you place the middle of the pleats at the at your middle neckline and this is it so you can see and then i use that to sew this all the way till i get till i got to the edge of my neckline so pretty much so you can see the rest of this part here is my shoulder so that's why i didn't show you with this adult size one because you, it may it might get confusing for you so pretty much and this is my dress this is my dress completed so i'm not going to wear this now just so that you can see what it looks like so yeah that's that don't forget to tap the subscribe button below your screen tap the like button and turn on the notifications bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming tutorials when i post them i'll see you in my next video bye <laughs>